So guys, the question that we are going to solve today is this largest rectangle in histogram. And this question has been asked in these many companies, Amazon, Adobe, Microsoft, Uber and Bloomberg. And this is a lead code hard level question. But today we are going to learn two different approaches for this question. So make sure to watch it till the end. Now let's see what the question is saying. So we are given an array of integer heights where each bar has a width one but with different different heights okay and our task is to find out the largest rectangle that we can form inside this histogram so if you carefully look at these values and this picture you will notice that this is the rectangle that is going to have the largest area that is going to be the largest rectangle inside this histogram okay and the area is going to be 10 for this particular rectangle because if you notice the height here is 5 and the width here is 2 one for this particular bar and one for this particular bar so 5 into 2 is equals to 10 so 10 is going to be the area which is going to be the largest in this case okay so we need to return this 10 okay so for this question now let's see the first approach so the first approach is going to be the extreme brute force approach and it is very easy where what we are going to do for each bar we will check the current height and we will compare that height to the remaining ones on the left hand side and on the right hand side and we will keep on expanding as long as we are finding the height that is greater than or equal to the current height okay and the expansion will not happen if we find a height that is shorter than the current bar for example if you take this particular bar you can expand it to the left hand side because here you notice that 6 is greater than or equal to 2 you can expand it more because here 5 is greater than or equal to 2 but you cannot expand it here so in the left hand side this particular bar can be expanded till here and on the right hand side this particular bar can be expanded till here because 3 is also greater than or equal to the current height okay so we need to expand the bars on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side as long as we are finding the bars that are having the height greater than or equal to the current height and if we find a height that is lesser than the current height then we will not expand it okay so in this case for this particular bar we cannot expand it to the left because on the left hand side we find a bar that is having a smaller height than the current one but we can expand it on the right hand side like this how we can expand it because on the right hand side we have a bar that is having a height greater than or equal to the current height so we can only expand it till here so after expansion we will check what is going to be the total width so in this case one for this one and one for this one so the total width is going to be 2 and the height is going to be 5 so 5 into 2 is equals to 10 so what we need to do after finding out the complete expansion we just need to calculate the total width and based on that width we will calculate the area so the same thing we have done here in the code what we are doing we are traversing the array and for each bar we are expanding it to the left hand side as well as to the right hand side okay so how we are expanding on the left hand side we will check till 0 and on the right hand side we will check till the last element okay and what we are checking we are checking if the height of the remaining bars that are on the left hand side is greater than or equal to the current height then in that case we are expanding our left okay and same for the right hand side what we are doing we are checking if the remaining bars on the right hand side if they are having the height greater than or equal to the minimum height then we are expanding the right and after finding out the expansion we are calculating the total width like this right minus left plus one okay and after finding out the width we are calculating the area after calculating the area we are comparing it with the maximum area and once the loop get completed we will be having the max area and at the end we are simply returning it